Hello everyone, I'm Jeff Meadows. I'm the general manager of Rust Aero Madison Mazda. Hey, we're gonna kind of do a virtual test drive today and ironically, we've kind of chosen a bad weather day to do it and uh, for the following reasons. First of all, one of the great things about the Mazda, we're in a Mazda CX-9 currently. I'm gonna turn on my heated steering wheel here. It's gonna heat the steering pad from the upper section here, middle section here, right where you wanna put your hands at the 10 and two. It's fantastic. I'm gonna turn on my seat warmer and uh, quite honestly, with the Mazda, it kind of gets so warm, I can't hardly take it on the high heat, so I'm going to be a little bit of a wimp and put it in the middle. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and help my passenger out, who my co-pilot here, Dylan, who's doing all the filming, and we're going to fire him up and leave that on high. We'll see whether he can handle it. Uh, one of the great things on the on Mazda CX-9, uh, everything is kind of hands-free once you kind of get your car in gear. All of our uh, information from the dashboard shoots up on the windshield here, so my odometer, uh, my navigation system, everything will shoot up in my windshield like a fighter pilot. And uh, you don't really ever have to take your eyes off the steering wheel or I'm sorry, off the windshield uh, while you're driving. Uh, preset television or uh, radio stations down here, very simple. You just turn the dial and it will take you to your preset stations. So whatever you choose to listen to, and I think it will hold up to uh, 28 selections. So um, once you set where you want to go, everything else you control by the steering wheel and away we go. So even when you're dealing with tough conditions, obviously you can see all the snow that has been plowed and piled up. You can tell that we're still sitting on a road that's fully covered with snow and ice. And so the all-wheel drive system on the Mazda, I'm going to accelerate the car fully, and you're going to notice that we lock in the traction on all four wheels at the same time, and it absolutely catapults us straight and doesn't allow the car to fishtail or swim or waffle left or right. With the Mazda system and the all-wheel drive, it gives you complete command and control of the automobile. Please don't do this, uh, you know, unless you're just uh, testing the car in an open, wide open space like this. But uh, you'll see there's no slippage as the car starts out. So if you go ahead and point the, the, the phone. So now we hit the gas and you can tell the traction control kicked in, applied the power. We had no, spin, no spinning of the wheels and so forth to get going right out of the gate. Even though I hit the accelerator all the way to the floor, the traction control system of the car and the all-wheel drive system wouldn't let any one of the four wheels spin and maintain traction all the time. So one of the things when you're driving, even in inclement weather, as you can tell, the roads have been plowed uh, excellent today. We're on the Beltline uh, going about 57 miles an hour in a 55. Clearly you can see that the car in front of us is full of snow. And I'm just going to show you what happened if we had to hit the brakes immediately. Three, two, one. You can see we went from 57 down to 25 miles an hour in about one and a half seconds. I made sure there were no cars anywhere near us on the left or the right side before we did that. And in case all of the debris would come off the car in front of you, again, that anti-lock brake system, you know, the traction control system to re-accelerate quickly, uh, puts you in a real safe position with the automobile. System of the dynamic cruise control. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my cruise control uh, to go 70 miles an hour, even though that's well above the speed limit. And I'm gonna set the cruise control to do that. But I have my laser guided cruise control on and it's gonna stop me from getting too close to the car in front of me. So now my hands, I'm sorry, my feet are off the accelerator, but the car is accelerating. I'm now going 67 miles an hour. I'm coming to a 70 mile an hour speed zone. So I'm gonna set my speed even higher. I'm going to 79 miles an hour. But as you can see, it's tracking me directly behind the car that's in front of me. That's because the laser guidance system is keeping me four car lengths back from the car that's in front of me because that's what I'm telling the car I want from a safe operating distance. With the touch of a button, I can increase that distance and the car, my car, the Mazda CX-9 will automatically slow down and allow that car to have a longer lead, a longer path in front of me. And so if the roads were a little more slippery or a little more icy and I did have the cruise control on and I wanted additional distance, the car would let me maintain that distance. Likewise, if the car in front of me started to slow down, right now it's going 60 miles, 67 miles an hour. If the car started to slow down and went to 55, my car would go 55. If our car in front of us went to 45, our car would go 45. If that car would go to a, a direct and quick stop, so would the Mazda go to a complete stop. And then when the car started up again in front of us, the Mazda would take off again all on its own. So we hope you enjoyed this part of the virtual test drive. Stop by and see us at Rust Aero Madison Mazda. We'd love to show you the car in person. Have a great day.